Right guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm just giving you a bit of a quick update as to why I haven't been posting very regularly uh, like I normally would be, so stay tuned. So, as you can see behind me, the car is in the garden and the bonnet's up, so let's explain what's going on. So here we are in the engine bay, as you can see for yourselves, and this is the part in question, this big thing here. This is the oil filter housing, if you have an ST I'm pretty sure you'll know what this is. And as you can see from around here, it's all wet, it's where all the oil's leaking out and all across the front of it here and all across the front of the actual filter housing as well it's all getting wet with oil it's all on the pipes as well as, as you can see so i've had to order a new one of these uh, they're not cheap they're like 300 pound from ford or other tuners however if you go to volvo and quote the same part number you will get them for just under 200 pound i think it was about 100, 180 quid with vat now, if you don't know about this, what in this piece here, this round bit with the bolt kind of thing on the top, that's your oil filter. And then the rest of this bit here around it is actually part of the breathing system. So you've got that cap there and there's the electrical connector, as you can see. All that is for the breathing of the engine. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually show you uh, what's going on with this. So... I think if I hadn't have installed that, I don't think I'd have found this problem as quickly as I have done. Now, when I'm boosting, it usually comes round to that point there, which is 21-ish PSI. Yeah, 21 PSI. At the moment, it goes to 15, 14 or 15, and it dies off quickly towards 10. So, at first I thought I may have had a boost leak. So, when I'm looking around the engine bay... Well, I say I was in the engine, but I was underneath the car. I was checking all the boost hoses for any leaks or splits or anything like that. And all under the, the sump and the charge pipe that goes from the turbo round to the start of the intercooler, that was all moist um, with oil. So I'm thinking it's got to be some, some problem here. And none of the hoses that I could find, none of the pipes were split. There was no, there was no anything really, you know, untoward. So I've opened the uh, the bonnet, got into the engine bay, and I'm looking around, and that's when I started to see all the oil around the filter housing. So I'm thinking, right, that's got to be, that's got to need changing. So when I was doing a little bit of digging, one of the the symptoms of uh, the oil filter housing fail or starting to fail, should I say, is the uh, the boost being down so another thing that I've found is when the there's a diaphragm in that um, that cap that I showed you uh, in the filter housing there's a cap in there and it's got a, a like a I suppose it's like a rubber composite sort of material um, and it's a diaphragm basically that helps do whatever it does I don't really understand the PCV system that much to, to explain it to you but basically in there when it gets a hole, you start getting that like UFO kind of noise. I'm not going to replicate it because I sound like a right mug. Um, I do that enough on my own. So you get the, the funny noise from that. And that's an indication that your um, the diaphragm split. And then obviously you've got to either replace that or replace the whole housing. Anyway, I'm waffling again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start the car and just explain to you what happens. Because when you've got that problem, if you pull your dipstick out, it sucks back in if you undo your oil cap i think i've said this in a previous video but if you undo your oil cap then um you'll you'll feel vacuum basically and that's not good and that's not what you want so i'll just go out to the the front of the car now i'll start it up and i'll, I'll show you obviously what we're dealing with so although you can you can't hear uh the split that cap i was saying about the one that was at the back there so when i take the oil cap off you get like a slight vacuum and I put my hand over it 
it is starting to suck very slightly. You can feel it. It's only very slight. So that's what we found. So I'm definitely leaning towards the fact that obviously the oil foot housings on the way out, it's starting to starting to leak. So that's obviously my problem. And like I say, I've ordered the the part. It came pretty quickly, to be fair. Um, but I've also had to order a service kit. Now that it is due, it's six month service. So you know, do the same, do do them both at the same time. Um, Whilst I've obviously I'm going to have a new oil filter with the the, uh, the filter housing and all that, so do it all at the same time. Um, but obviously I'll I'll do that for next week's video. I just thought I'd give you guys an update as to why I wasn't posting. So I do apologise for that. I, it, it's I can feel the impact on my channel already. I know that sounds a bit weird, but I can. So I am sorry for that. But I've had to save save the pennies from mods and throw it into bloody servicing the car really um so not really happy about it but it's got to be done and we i need the car we want the car running but that is all i wanted to say for this week guys next week um will probably be the the video for the oil field housing once i've got everything coming in and uh we'll, we'll hopefully after that fingers crossed we'll be able to get back onto the mods so i'll see you next week bye